Hello Cancers, welcome to your love reading. I hope this video finds you all doing very well. We are going to take a look at the energies between you and a love interest or just your love life in general. Um, uh, if you find yourself resonating with this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to join the family, please hit the subscribe button. And um, let's get into it. Cancerians in love. What messages are here for Cancers in love? What messages are here for Cancers in love? <clears throat> All right. Okay, your underlying energy is the Nine of Cups. So, wish fulfillment, being um, satisfied in life or in love, um, having pleasure. Um, this is like happiness too, this card. It's like one cup away from a Ten of Cups, so the ultimate happiness. So, it's like you could be on your way there. This could represent something going very well for you. Um, I see the sun here and yeah, like I can see an abundance of happiness. We'll see why this is your underlying energy, Cancer. All right. We have the Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, okay? The Princess of Swords. We're going to get another sword card. Now we have the King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, that could be your love interest. Um, I feel like you've had a breakthrough. Maybe there was some truth spoken. There's something here you understand, you have clarity on. Um, and it could be behind um, maybe some sort of information or a conversation that was spoken truthfully between you and your partner. Um, uh, perhaps there was a breakup, there was some heartbreak, some disappointment with this three of swords here, and we will clarify these further. Uh, but I feel like you could be dealing with the fire sign. If not, your person is embodying this king of wands energy. Um, <clears throat> well, let's find out. I did, I feel like you did have a breakthrough of some sort. Like there's truth here. There's truth on this board. There's Someone spoke truth. Someone understands based on maybe a conversation. So let's clarify and see what is going on here in love. Clarify this ace of swords, please. Okay. Okay. The two of pentacles. So there could have been some going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And maybe the truth finally came out. I, I feel like that's what happened. Like there's a, like this is like a juggling car, but this is like not having balance, you know, like not meeting in the middle. It's just like, well, is it this? Is it that? Maybe some uncertainty, but I feel like there was some, like something got cleared up. Let's put, sorry, let's put this here. Something was cleared up out of frame um why is this two of pentacles here why is the two of pentacles here okay the knight of pentacles but it was slow coming whatever this was i like it almost like it dragged on like it like it was taking so long but it finally you finally got what you needed the information you needed the truth right I mean, the Ace of Swords can even be like a light bulb moment. Some of you, it's like, oh, like it finally hit you, right? <clears throat> like you finally understand something. Clarify this Three of Swords. Okay. And this is, this is, it makes perfect sense. The Eight of Swords, like you were stuck for, I would say, a long time. 
I'm getting uncertainty. Like you just wasn't sure. But like now you are. I feel like you are now. But this was very disappointing for you. Like it was, it broke your heart. Um, <clears throat> why the eight of swords? Ooh, that's what I'm saying. Five of wands, conflict. There was conflict. There was arguments. Like you guys struggled in this relationship for sure. That led to a heartbreak, a disappointment, like something like that. Clarify this, Princess of Swords. We have two cards. <clears throat> the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, there was, okay, there was definitely some fast movement. I don't know. That card could have been someone spying. With the Ten of Pentacles, like a family situation, uh, some sort of like long term committed relationship where um, I, this is not I don't think this is for everyone, but I'm getting someone was rushing in to tell the truth. Someone was coming in to reveal something um, like to show what they learned. I, that could have been you. What's the energy of that princess of swords? Yeah, look, you got I'm getting swords galore. I, I feel like look, someone spoke the truth, someone said something. Looks like the moment they found out, they rushed over to like talk about it. There were messages about maybe a long term relationship. Whatever that truth was, what's the energy of the ace of swords? The star. Hmm. I mean, I'm getting someone wanted like a wish come true. Someone was wishing, hoping, and praying for the truth. And I don't know what this truth is. Like, it's not clear to me, but I feel like it has something to do with a long term relationship. I mean, this could be someone's feelings, right? Like the moment I realized I loved you, I, I ran and told you. Like something like that. Well, let's see what this King of Wands is about. Clarify this King of Wands. Oh, let me add the Three of Cups tried to come out. Clarify the King of Wands. Like, does someone want to reunite? Someone wants to express feelings after maybe a breakup? Clarify this King of Wands. It feels that way. Yeah. <laughs> or this person came to you, Cancer. Like, the moment they realized they loved you or had feelings for you, they kind of, like, rushed back in. They rushed in to... Look, that Three of Cups tried to come out. Um, which means they wanted to be with you, spend time with you, meet up with you, or you them. Just take it how it resonates. And quickly, I'm getting really fast energy with the Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Like this, somebody wanted to just come in and just say, hey, I want you. I've been praying for you. I've been hoping for you. Um, and maybe you didn't know, right? You didn't know how they felt for so long. Because I see like this information look okay i understand the story <laughs> clearly listen you wanted truth here it is the breakthrough the understanding what what's really happening with this person and i feel like you were hoping wishing and praying for like understanding you know like you just didn't get where they stood what they were feeling and it was a long time coming like you spent a lot of time just wondering you know, unsure, uncertain, but that Knight of Pentacles is slow moving, but it when it shows up, it's like, it's finally here. Like, wow, they finally came toward me after, you know, look, all this, and you broke my heart, and you um, left me feeling, you know, stuck, and like, I didn't know what to do, struggling, you know, you guys could have had arguments, 
And here it is like rushing in, wanting a commitment, rushing in, wanting to be with you forever, you know, buy you a house or something like that. I mean, this doesn't have to be like buy you a house. I just threw that out there. But there's something here like not wanting to ever let you go. And here it is. Here's a communication. Sorry, from this person. Why the eight of wands? Why the eight of wands? Oh, yeah. The three of swords. Like they could have been heartbroken too. Um about this situation just because you know what i'm kind of getting like this person may not have been uh, very expressive um or they may have been focused on something else or you know perhaps they want to talk about this breakup let's talk about this these three of swords like what happened here but i'm kind of getting somebody wants to just come in and commit to you and I feel like this is something you've wanted, uh, Cancer. What's the energy of the Princess of Swords? Uh -oh. What's the energy of the Princess of Swords? Yeah, the Three of Wands. I do feel like you were waiting for them. Um, yeah, like you wanted, you wanted them to come to you. I feel like they did or they will. If this is... If this energy I'm picking up hasn't happened yet, like it will, we'll get the potential outcome. But I feel like you were waiting for this person and they delivered, they, they came through and you're like, whoa, this is why you're so clear now. So what's, what's the potential outcome here? That was nice. Waiting for the truth and it finally comes, right? What is the potential outcome here for cancers in love? So this person came and was communicating about how they felt, their feelings, what happened between the two of you. All right. What is the potential outcome here? Okay. Oh, see, there's a princess of sorts again. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like this someone is communicating here. Just, just being like honest, you know, the princess of swords, that's what she does. She reveals truth. She faces the truth. She accepts the truth. Like it's, it's surrounded by being honest. I mean, it could be a stalker card, but I, I feel like this person, I feel like I'm not getting stalker. I need to clarify, but I, I don't feel stalker only because of there was so much action behind it. Like they came, they were talking. Or they will come and talk. They are rushing in, right? You have a moment of truth. So it, it kind of feels like this person or you, there's going to be some truthful communication. Clarify this princess of sorts, please. Okay. Yeah. I feel, I think so. Listen, there's going to be some truthful communication about feeling bad, the negative things, like talking about what happened you know, those things that may be um, irreparable, right? We can't change it. We can't fix it. But, you know, maybe moving forward. Why the Five of Cups? The Devil card. So you guys could have just been in something that was not healthy, right? What this feels like is you guys are going to be talking about this. We're like the truth is coming out. We're airing out our dirty laundry. We're opening up our closets and we're, pu we're putting it out on the table. That's what this feels like. I want to pull one more card. Why the devil? Okay. So the star is here. What do I want now? This is what I want. This is what happened. We're putting it out there. This is what I want now. And I feel like you may get it. Um, cancer. <laughs> Because your underlying energy um, before was the nine of the nine of cups, right? So wish fulfillment or just to have this conversation, right? I can't get too far into it because I don't see it all the way. 
But just to have this conversation, it's like, I wanted this so much. I wanted some closure. I wanted to understand how we can move forward. And the star is giving me, you will get what you want. You know what I'm saying? What, what's the energy of this princess of swords? I feel like you guys are talking big, big talk here. That the three of swords tried to come out again. Sometimes I just wish it would come out. Clarify the, I'm sorry, what's the energy of the princess of swords? Yeah. Ooh, let's see. So the magician. What's going to happen? I just feel like you are using the magician. I know he's a manifester, but he's also a person that makes things happen. He uses what he has to bring things about. So I feel like you are, I mean, you could have manifested this, um, you know, you could have like created this in your reality, this having this conversation, finally talking about it, finally saying what it is that you want, what hurt you, you know, these, the things that like drove you crazy almost, right. You know, that drove you to drinking even, you know, um, and the magician is telling me, like, I feel like you, <clears throat> you're make, you've made this happen or you will make this happen. And I don't, I feel like even with the magician, like you're, you'll pull out all the stops. Like we're addressing everything. All right. So what is your advice? Let's get your advice. I like this. I like this a, a whole lot. I'm always a person who says, talk, communicate, get it out there, you know? Holding things in, like I read a meme the other day and it said, silent beef is weird AF, right? Like if you're mad at me, say it. <clears throat> and one thing I told my family, I said, listen, if I'm mad at you, you're going to know why I'm mad at you. If I have a problem with you, if I'm not talking to you, if I need a break from you, you'll know why. This is not going to be, oh, I wonder what's wrong with her. I don't know. I don't know what I did. No, you'll know. Because I believe in communication. I believe in confronting things and trying to resolve them. And I get some people are so difficult. You you can't resolve them, right? So you just kind of love them from afar and distance yourself. But talking things out, your potential outcome, amazing. I love that. All right. What advice do you have for cancer? What advice do you have for cancer? Whoa. Okay, hold on. What advice do you have for cancer? What advice do you have for cancer? There we go. Okay, three of pentacles. So this is like being a team player, <laughs> um, cooperating. And I feel like I feel like you will do that. I feel like you will talk to this person. You will hear them out and vice versa. Like they'll do the same. But this is probably just saying, hey, yeah, like, be um sorry if it's out of focus get into focus okay this is like saying you know um like focus on like cooperation and being a team player and putting in effort right so uh clarify this three of pentacles why is this cancer's advice why is this three of pentacles cancers uh oh why is this three of pentacles? Cancer's advice. Uh, whoa. There we go. The page of wands. Ask questions. You need to figure out. You need to figure out something from this person. When I get the page of wands, he's so curious and he wants to know. He wants to find things out. You know, he's exploring. He's moving about. He's communicating as well, but I always get like, he's like, well, well, why did you, or what does this mean? And how come, you know, asking the who, what, when, where, why's, you know, um, I feel like that's like, that is what you wanted. And, you know, and this is just saying, Hey, just put in the effort, cooperate. Even if you get frustrated, even if you, um, you know, have a moment where, you know, I need to take a walk, maybe you get triggered or something. Just 
go with it, right? Do what you need to do. That's the magician too. He does what he needs to do. I want to resolve this. I want to get through this conversation. I need to take a walk because I'm getting too upset or I'm about to cry. So I need to walk, right? Do what needs to be done. Why the page of wands? Okay. That's more work, putting in the effort, learning, understanding. Um, I mean, it's kind of a thing, right? Just getting down to the nitty gritty, understanding that person. If you can't avoid like walking away or leaving the conversation, um, without like get as much information as you can learn as much as you can right and even if it has to happen over several conversations maybe it's not enough to just have one um because sometimes based on what i saw the energy can be intense right and I, I keep getting this feeling like some of you will be triggered like you will cry you will be upset uh, because it's going to be difficult to hear someone else's truth right and so um, I think that's why this Three of Pentacles is like, hey, just just try to be a team player. Try to cooperate, you know. So Cancer, I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Um, I hope this is helpful. This was a great reading. Um, it may not feel as good, but from what I see, it's, it's the right step forward is having difficult conversations, having, you know, closure. Or having a conversation that's going to help us move forward together, right? Whatever your situation is. But I feel like you'll get what you want from this. You'll get, you'll be satisfied because your underlying energy was the nine of cups. I feel like you will be completely satisfied with this conversation. Okay. All right, guys. Again, like the video if you resonate with it and stay tuned for more videos. I'll talk to you guys next time. Mwah. Deuces.